totally driven by the hip hop, birth of hip hop and, and graffiti. I was blown away by it and I thought, oh man, I really want to be a train painter. I want to be a train painter, but I know I'm going to get caught. I'm going to get arrested. I'm going to do it with photography. I can write anything, anytime, anywhere. I'll get permits, for goodness sakes. I'll go to the White House. I've done it all. It's the greatest thing in the world. It's addicting. I want to give a shout out to the entire light graffiti, light painting, uh, global community. Uh, we're about 40 million strong, if you give a Google search. And um, it's just it's just an addictive kind of positive thing. Um, I also was extremely influenced by um, the great artists that I came was lucky enough to come in contact with in my younger years, people like Joan Jonas, people like Richard Serra. It was an incredible experience for me, and I kind of took these two methodologies of making text-based work with light graffiti and environmentally-based work with larger lamps, four- and eight-foot fluorescent lamps. I work with my amazing partner of life, love of my life, Antonio De Silva. Let's give it up for Antonio. He's the greatest partner ever. He's an electrician. He's my technical director, father of the children, Veronica and Sabine. Shout out to them. Shout out to my mom, to my sister, to all my friends and family that have supported me over the years. Um, I've taken these two kind of separate things of light painting and light, and, and light graffiti, and I feel like I'm pushing the envelope with it as, as far as I can go and I and I continue to go. So keep your eye out for me because I'm just getting started. I'd like to thank you all for coming to the party. Let's celebrate making art! An artist wanted! Thank you!